The hell y'all showing this late for? Y'all know what time it is? Just come in. Yeah, man, so welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the King's Castle. Just in case some of y'all didn't see this, I got a chance to whoop Batman's ass a couple of weeks ago. It's on now! Let's go! It's no big deal though, I'm just a punter, you know? So, but since y'all here, we might as well just talk about punts since that's the only thing that matters in the world. So, did you know that punt starts with a P and punter starts with a P and ends with the R? But that doesn't matter right now because we're talking about the drop. Today is about the drop. Now, I decided to kind of give a couple of tips away for a couple of people. I know, um, well, why not? Why not help find a way to better the world? And the way to better the world is to help punters and kickers just be better. But I'm just a punter because, yeah. Now that y'all know what we're gonna talk about today, I got a quick fun fact for y'all before we dive right into the subject. The most important part of punting, the drop. The most important part of kicking a ball, because if you can't drop the ball correctly, there's no point even kicking. You might as well play a different position. So one of the main things about the drop is all about how you hold the ball. So, hello, my name is Mark Quick. I don't think we met yet. What's, what's your name? Well, if you pay close attention, let's stumble that again. My name's Mark Quick. What's your name? So, you keep your hand here, which is called the handshake drop. The handshake drop is very important. This is usually how I punt the ball when I'm playing in the game. So, I put the ball in my hand, and I kind of like focus on my fingertips. Making sure the fingertips are the only things touching the football. And you kind of have a little air. Is on there right here for me very quick? You kind of got a little air right there, a little air pocket right there, where you kind of stick, slide something through. Kind of like when that referee slipped that index card between that yard marker and that football that day when we played the Cowboys on Sunday night or Monday night football. I don't remember which one, but it was one of those days. Dead vertical. Look at this. Can he put can he put a card in between it? Look at you. <laughs> he can barely contain himself. You want to make sure you have a little bit of gap right there because when you drop the ball, you want to make sure there's even amounts of pressure on the football when you drop it. Because when you drop it, you want it to fall the same way as you're holding it. It don't matter because I'm a punter! When we're talking about drops, we're not talking about these drops. Where you at? Oh, oh. oh no! We're talking about these kind of drops. You got the whole, the drop from on top. How some people do it, and you also got the pizza. But it works for some people, so whatever. Hey, Mr. Marquette, Mr. Marquette, um, uh, can, can you tell us more about the, the drop? Oh, glad you asked. So, yeah, you want to make sure you got the ball gripping, or the football gripping your hands perfectly to where it's comfortable for you because we're all different. We're not the same, you know? Not the same. You don't want it touching the palm of your hands. Like, it might get windy, you might get too excited, you start walking too fast, and the back of the ball will push along your hand and then turn the drop in, but I mean, you want to focus on doing that. You, even if you hold the ball on the side or the top, you want to make sure you drop it with even amounts of pressure. So everybody's not expected to do the same exact thing because we're all different. Like, you can just do this all day. Like, it should be the same all the time. Like, the way you drop it, it should fall the same way all the way down. You also want to make sure you got a, a good extension with your arm. You don't want it to be over exaggerated like straight you kind of want a, a slight bend but you kind of want to have it here and make sure it's solid you might have a nice extension with it and just focus on just dropping it and with dropping the ball you can drop it anywhere like you go to the store you go to the club you can go anywhere i take pride in it yeah. you feel me? So I make sure I try to protect every little thing that has anything to do with putting, period. One thing that my coach used to get on to me about, like my first 
I think it was my first year with the Raiders in 2012. He get on to me about like kicking so much. And the cool thing about it was, I didn't really have to kick that much to get better. It was all about the technical stuff. So one of the main things I focused on was my drop. The drop is the most important thing. But he stressed to me. Shout out to Coach Hopper, man. I miss him. He's one of the best kicking coaches I've ever had. I will just walk around the facility, walk around the club, walk around the store, like doing everything, just dropping everything. Cereal, macaroni and cheese noodles, spaghetti noodles. My bad, y'all. Restroom break. Getting better, dog. You feel me? So, what did we learn today, people? That's what's up. So we learned about drops. Drops here, drops there. But what y'all should make sure y'all know about is the fact that everybody's different and what works for you works for you. And that's the main thing. And everybody has a different way, different style of doing. Just make sure whatever you do, just focus on your drops because that's the purpose of this video was to focus on drops. So, just make sure you stay tuned because I got more to drop very soon. Focus on keeping your arm kind of extended somewhat. Keeping it extended all the way out. That you got everything in alignment. So everything's in alignment and I'm on the line right now. So, you know what I'm saying? Like it all works. It's all coordinated. Coordinated. If I drop the ball like this, it should fall the whole way down just like this, no matter what. So if I drop the ball like this, I don't know what I'm gonna catch. Hey, so Keisha, what did you learn about the drops? Just drop the call. Oh, okay. So, uh, so something that you know, Mr. King has taught me is a little bit about drops. It's custom, you no know, top, bottom. We'll do this. Didn't go that far, but I'm not a pro. Talk to Marquette about that. I just need my space. space. Can I have my space? Space. Oh.